Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at placing an image inside a shape in Adobe Illustrator. I'm starting with a new file. It doesn't matter what size file you use. I'm going to place my image, so I'll choose File and then Place. I'm going to grab the image to use, click Place, and then just drag it into my document. Now, a lot of people use Draw Inside for this, but this is really a much easier way of doing it. You're going to grab the Shape tool. In this case, I'm using the ellipse. I'm just going to drag a circle out. Now, I do ultimately want this circle to have a border, but there's no point in putting it on right now because it's just going to be removed. I'm placing my circle over the image so that what it's covering is what's going to appear in the circle in just a minute. If you want to see what's happening, just go over here to the fill and turn the fill off so you can see the stroke. And this is what's going to appear in just a minute. We're going to select over absolutely everything, right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. Now, if you're looking at people who teach you how to do it using Draw Inside, you're just creating a clipping mask anyway. So you're going to end up with the exact same end product. I just think this is an easy way of doing it. Let's go to the the layers palette but let's see what it is that we've got. We've got a clipping group here. When I open up the clipping group this is the ellipse, the circle and this is the linked file. If I click on just the file and then start moving it, I'm using the keyboard because that's easier to get to rather than the image itself although you can drag here on the image. Just make sure that you don't move the circle when you do so. You can now move the image inside the circle. If I grab hold of the ellipse here then I can size it. So I'm just going to use the Alt and Shift keys to make it a little bit smaller. Now I promised you that we could get a border on this shape and the way to do it is to come in here in the Layers palette, open up your clipping group and just select your ellipse. You'll see that the border that was on there before has been clobbered. That's the way this works. So I'm going to sample and color from the image. So I'm going to the eyedropper and I'm just going to sample a brown color. I'm holding the shift key and just clicking on the brown color. Of course you could just double click and select the color of your choice. I'm going to increase the stroke weight here and now we have a stroke around the edge of the circle. But as I said, don't bother putting it on to begin with because it just gets knocked out by the process. Now the beauty of this clipping group is that everything is going to travel as a single object. Also, if I take the entire clipping group and now hold the Shift and Alt key, I can make everything bigger. You can see it's making the circle bigger as well as the underlying image. But of course, inside the clipping group here, we have access to both pieces individually that we can edit if we need to or change the size of if we need to. Of course, you don't have to only use the shapes that are here. You could draw a shape with the pen tool. You could also draw a shape with the pencil tool. Let me just go and draw a shape with the pencil tool. I'm going to add a stroke to it so that we can see it a little bit more clearly in a minute. Now I'm going to add my image file and then place and let's go and get an image to use. I'm just going to drag it over the shape here. Now at this point, the image is in the wrong position. It's over the top of the shape. They need to be reversed. So I've got my image selected. I'll simply choose Object Arrange and then Send to Back. That sends the image behind the shape. Now I can line things up a little bit better. Select over everything, right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. And as before, we've lost the border on the shape. We knew that that was going to happen. You'll need to go to the Layers palette. You'll need to open up your clipping group. You'll need to select just your clipping path and then add your stroke to it. I'm just going to add the same brown stroke as we used previously. I'll go to the eyedropper tool and just shift click on the yellow there so I can change the stroke to a different color if that's what I want. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.